Hello everyone and welcome back to another resin art video from amazing absolutely fabulous artwork. Okay so in today's video I've got a sealed in frame already and I'm just going to spray paint it with uh, this Rust-Oleum dark steel metallic paint. I'll put that in the description below so you guys have a link to that paint if you want to get it through Amazon. Alright so I marked out my aluminum and I have my uh, Oh, my jigsaw right there and I cut it out you just got to make sure you use the uh, all the right amount of teeth for the jigsaw blade all right I got that all done and then I grinded it away right here with a grinder um, I started at 40 grit and I worked all the way up to 120 grit uh, I'll go over the end of the video and kind of show you that grinder and all the stuff that kind of goes along with it and I'll show you the uh, oh the jigsaw also it was hot out today uh, in Iowa so I kind of you know, I, my phone shut off because it got so hot, so I missed out on a lot of the video. But so I just kind of, you know, just designed a design in this aluminum and, you know, kind of went from there. And that's basically what I'm doing right here is just, you know, grinding away and putting a little design in it. Uh, 40 grit, I would say, is a little too rough. I would start at 60 and then just kind of go up to the 120 grit. That's probably all you would need. I just want to show you guys too like this has got some texture to it you know it's 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 pretty you know the abrasives were pretty strong on it so just wanted to show you that too so okay I'm gonna go translucent with some warm colors and we'll get going okay cool okay so I've already got this all leveled out and now I'm just mixing up about eight ounces of a countertop epoxy resin um, mix it for five minutes then now I've got all my cups filled up with about an ounce of resin each there's seven cups there uh, we're not going to put a base coat down on this because I don't want the base coat to dilute the inks um, that kind of might happen you know or they might set on top of it so what I did on this is I just put one dropper full in for each of them and then the orange at the tail end um, when you see me putting that in I actually put in like a little bit too much uh, it seemed like it was only you know half a dropper full when I was putting it in so I went a little bit extra uh, but it still came out pretty cool so all right here we go and I am putting down the orange right now and I'm just kind of rubbing it in with my finger trying to stay away from the edge and I just kind of keep proceeding to rub the colors in you know as they go along uh, as far as the colors that I used in this you would probably need to get two different pH Martin ink kits I'll put them in the description below so you can kind of know what to get for these translucent inks. Uh, but they are the Hydrus inks and they are the Bombay inks. So I will, uh, I'll read off the colors to you right now. Uh, there was a peppermint red in there. That's part of the Hydrus kit. Um, there is also a vermilion hue. That's part of the Hydrus kit. Uh, Alzarian crimson. That's part of Hydrus also and the rest are going to be bombays uh crimson magenta cherry red and tangerine orange so there you go but like i said i'll put all those uh in the description below so you can get some links to amazon and get it and when you guys buy that stuff through amazon uh, it helps my channel out and i am an amazon affiliate so i do appreciate it if you click on those links and uh, go to the stuff so all right, and basically what I'm doing here now is just kind of rubbing it in with my fingers. That's kind of all I'm doing in this. And then I use the heat gun just a little bit to push it around. And then I'm, you know, just kind of watching the edges of my frame. Uh, this one came out pretty good. There is some spots like towards the edge of the frame where it didn't get the aluminum like all the way towards the end. But I'm still pretty happy with this. You know, I was kind of going for a candy color. And I do think I achieved that with this thing. It came out pretty freaking cool. Uh, and I'm a big fan of it and I'm real happy so I hope you guys learned something on this and uh, I hope you're happy with this one too it's pretty cool and like I said at the end of the video I will go over like the flapper disc and everything like that for the uh, grinder and kind of go out and show you everything you need to get so if you want to you know um, but yeah we'll leave it at that okay cool here we go okay 
so the paint it forward part of this video, you know, where I'll talk about this at while this while I'm just finishing up this painting. Uh, a guy named Eric Landrum started a group called Resin Artist USA. Uh, there's a lot of good people in this group, you guys. Um, I'm not the only one that does this stuff. You guys probably know that. Uh, Iveta Horrath is in there. She sent me an invite to the group. Uh, Sherry Cruz is in there. Um, Moonsoaker Art is in there. There's just a lot of good people in there that are helpful. So if you guys would like to join a group on Facebook also, I'll put the link down in the bottom for Resin Artist USA. Uh, it's a pretty cool group so far. There's a lot of good artists in there. Um, all right. Well, I just thought I'd say that real quick and kind of want to help Eric grow this thing. So uh, he seems like a pretty decent guy and I like him. And, you know, if Iveta likes him, I trust her. So, okay. <laughs> uh, yep. Cool. All right. Check out that uh, Resin Artist USA also. Okay. I'm going to finish this thing up here in just a minute. Then there'll be an inside light video and an outside light video. Okay, and I'll uh, put the card at the end of this video, you know, to show you how to do the sealed in frame and everything. And that way, you know, you guys can kind of see what to do to make these frames kind of sealed in. And remember that this is uh, kind of like casting with the resin. It's not really, you know, regular art. Okay, so all I mean by that is, you know, be careful with the heat when you're popping bubbles and everything. All right, so this is inside light with it right there. Uh, you can kind of see on the edge right there, you know. It's not perfect, but hell, I love it, man. I think this thing's freaking sweet. And then this is outside light right here, you know, flipped around. Uh, you can see the orange up top and then kind of the red down here at the bottom uh, and kind of going in the magenta. So I like it how you can see through and uh, see the aluminum. I think it's freaking awesome. So I hope you guys uh, like this part of the video. And then now I'll kind of go into depth on the uh, flapper wheel and the jigsaw and just kind of show you that. Okay, so this is the grinder that I used. Um, it is a DeWalt grinder. And then it's got a little button on top that you push. And then you can, you know, take these uh, flapper wheels off. They just spin off when you spin them counterclockwise. So, like I said, this one is... Hold on a second here. Let me get to it. Oh, where's it at? Where's it at? 120 grit. And then I also use this... Uh, 80 grit one right here it looks like they're made by Sontax I'll try to find a link to that or something kind of uh, you know close to this and then I also used a uh, oh, uh, 40 grit one over here somewhere there's a 60 grit I think I used that one also but yeah there's a 40 grit one that I used somewhere in here but I got a whole box of the stuff right there uh, Steven let me borrow his grinder so he's a nice guy and like I said too there's the uh, spray paint that I used in it and then on your jigsaw, when you're using your jigsaw to cut the uh, aluminum out, make sure you use a blade that's, you know, got 20 teeth per an inch. Uh, they make, like, when you get them, pay attention because there's some made for wood, there's some made for steel, and there's, um, you know, some made for different materials. And then also when you're cutting it, make sure, like, if you have a surface like this table, this is just kind of like my work table right here. Uh, make sure when you're cutting it, you kind of have it shimmed up, you know, somehow. So... That's why I have some of these chunks of wood out here on my uh, little work table to shim it up. So, Okay, well, oh yeah, uh, those Irwin clamps right there and gloves. Yeah, that's a big help in this project too. So, Oh yeah, and uh, remember too, like ladies, if you guys are doing this, um, you might want to use, you know, hair tie. Just safety first, you know. Practice with the grinder a little bit. Just practice, practice, practice. But yeah, you might want to get some of these clamps. They help to hold stuff down. And I think those are on my website. Yeah, there's a link to my website down there in the description below. And what else? I think that's about it. So, okay. All right, I hope everybody uh, liked this video. And I will put the links to the other videos that will help you guys out. And there we go. All right, have fun and happy arting. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you going to go run? Are you going to go run, huh? Rocket, you going to go run? Sophie, you going to run? Rocket, you going to run? Jax, what do you think? You're just going to go loop, loop, loop. Jacks is slow. Those guys are fast. Run, 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 run. Run. Get it, Soph. Get it. Good boy, Rocket. Oh, somebody uh, somebody wanted to see a clip of my dog, so I put that in there, too. Okay, well, here is some links to the other videos. And if you guys like this one, uh, please like, subscribe. 
and I will see you all next week. All right, bye-bye.